Hello there, I'm James Gilmer, your user services librarian, here to introduce the library's webinar on locating newspapers in the library collection. So uh, with that being said, like I said, today's session is going to be locating newspapers through the library. And there's a couple different ways we can you can do this. So I'm going to kind of walk through each of the ways to locate newspapers in the library. Um, before I start showing you how to locate them, I will say that we actually have a couple of newspapers in our library stacks in the physical space. So if you're a campus student and you want to see some of the newspapers that we do have, um, they're a little limited just because they're only local newspapers, uh, but uh, many of our local newspapers that we do have are the Advertiser Tribune, which is Tiffin's newspaper, and then I think we have some issues of The Courier, which is Finley's newspaper, and some of The Blade, possibly, which are which is Toledo's newspaper. Um, so feel free to always come by and check out to see what we have. Uh, but what I'm going to cover mostly today is to how to locate them electronically. So other than our library stacks in our physical space, there's a couple other ways to locate newspapers, and these are going to be electronic as well. They're not going to be print. Uh, but first, you can use uh, Dragon Quest. So if you're familiar with Dragon Quest, you can search for newspapers that way. Uh, Dragon Quest is our electronic catalog and discovery service, and you can see that it is located on our homepage, which I have on our screen here. And then we, you can also locate newspapers in our A to Z database list, which is located down at the bottom where it says databases on the screen. So I'm going to de demonstrate how to locate newspapers in both sections. Uh, first, I'm going to cover how to use Dragon Quest because this one is, a pr is pretty well known on campus. Most people use this, uh, hopefully use this to get sources, uh, whatever they might need, um, requesting books, journal articles, all that kind of stuff. But if you're not familiar with Dragon Quest, it is our library's electronic catalog, and it contains print and electronic materials uh, from all types of sources. And it also has several different source types, like books, journals, videos, all that kind of stuff. And newspapers is included in that. So when you're searching Dragon Quest for newspapers, you'll just want to apply the database filter that we have to only show you newspaper sources. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to do a generic search just for sports on the library homepage. Um, if you've never been to our homepage before, it's library.tiffin.edu. Um, if you can't find it that way, if you can't remember the URL, just type in Tiffin University Library into Google and it should be one of the first results. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just type in sports here and see if we can find some newspaper articles or newspaper type sources related to sports. So you can see with our search results, we've got all sorts of sources. We've got books, videos, ebooks. So it's, it's pretty much showing us everything. So we want to narrow this down just to news sources. So what you can do to do that is you want to go to the Refine Results tab on the left side. And you're going to want to scroll down to Source Type. And you're going to want to find the News checkbox. And it looks like this is right below the first result here so this is actually pretty handy don't have to search for it and so when I checked off that box that basically took out anything that's not considered a news source and so now we've only got about 30 million results compared to I don't know how many we had when we started too many probably looks like we had about 40 million there Okay, let me see if I can. I wonder why it's frozen. I see that sports showed up when I typed it in. I'll, um, you know what, I'm going to stop sharing the screen for a second and then I'll, I'll reshare it and see if that fixes it. Thanks for letting me know about that. I'm glad you noticed because that would have been. That would have been bad. All right, let's try again. OK, so you should be able to see my search results page now. There we go. Perfect. OK, um, so here, I'll go through that again just so you can see what it looks like. Sorry about that. So, um, so I typed in sports, and this is our search results page. 
So we've got 40 million results here, but this is this is everything. This is books, videos, ebooks, pretty much everything. So we want to narrow it down to just newspapers. So you want to go to the refine results tab, which is on the left side, and then scroll down to source type. And then you're going to click on the news checkbox right here. And then now you can see that it narrowed it down just to news sources. So it looks like the first couple, we've got some news, some periodicals, but you can see that most of them say news. So that indicates newspapers or some kind of news source. And so that's pretty much uh, all you need to do for finding newspapers in Dragon Quest. The only thing that I would also suggest that you do is uh, go to refine results again and then click on the limit to full text checkbox. And what that's going to do is it's going to take out anything that we don't have in full text format. So using this checkbox, um, you don't even just for locating newspapers, for, for locating like any type of source that you might need, it's really helpful because it's going to, to show you all the things that you can access right right away and really quickly. So I think it's great for locating sources efficiently. So you don't have to scroll through a bunch of stuff that we may not have in, in full text format. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. So um, so I recommend you do that because we um, we even eliminated a lot of source results here because we were at um, we were at 30 million I think when we had this unchecked Yep, about 30 million, and then if you change it to the full text, it took out 25 million. So, so that really makes a difference. So these are our search results. So depending on the source you're looking at, you may have to access it a little bit differently. But what you can do is, if you want to get more information on the source, you can just click on the title, and it's going to give you some information like the author, the source, like where it came from. So it looks like this source came from the New York Times and it gives us the date, the volume, and the issue, and even the page numbers. It tells you that's an article, it shows you the subjects, and then some some database information. Um, so that's in, so that's helpful if you just want to get more information on, on the source. You can do that with any of these, just click on the title. But if you want to access the source itself, you can either access it by clicking on the title and then going to the left and clicking full text finder. Or if you don't want to do that, if you just want to do one click, uh, you just want to look for a link at the bottom underneath the search result that says something like full text finder or PDF full text. Um, I think most of them are going to say either one of those, um, but there could be ones that say something different. I'm just looking to see if we got any different ones. It doesn't look like it. I think they all say full text finder or PDF. So, okay, that makes it a little bit easier. So let me go back to page one. So what you can do instead of clicking on the title, just click on the full text finder or the PDF full text option. And then what it, that should do, it should, it should take you straight to a version of the source that you can access. So it looks like for this one, we have to do a couple, a couple more clicks. So let's see, find this article in full text from Gale and Context. So I'll try, I'll try that link first. And it looks like this is the title of the article right here. And there it is. So what this basically did was it took us to the article that is located in another database, but we're, we're, we're subscribed to this database. So kind of what Dragon Quest does is it combines all of the content that we have in all of our databases into one searchable platform. So sometimes you'll wind up with situations where you find something in, I'll, and I'll be sure to share those. I'll share the screen so that you can see the, uh, the the database where it came from. So I'm gonna click on this again. And actually, what I'm gonna do, 
I, I know how the screen froze up, so I'm gonna I'll be I'll be able to fix it this time. So, you know, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna stop sharing for a sec, and I'm going to. There we go. I think you should be able to see it now. Okay. So let me let me backtrack for a second. So let me click on the full text finder link again. And now you should be able to see everything that's going on. So what I did was I clicked on this first link because it says find this article in full text from this database. Um, like I said, Dragon Quest combines everything that we have into one platform. So it's basically taking you to the database that this article is from. So now we're now you can see we're on another another database website. But then it even says, I think it says uh, Ohio Link Tiffin University right here, which shows that you're you're part of Tiffin's subscription. And so it looks like the news article is right here. And then you can see that the news article is here. So this one required a little bit of clicking um, just because it was located in another database and not in necessarily in Dragon Quest proper. So hopefully that makes sense. So, so don't feel intimidated if you click on this and it takes you to a page that looks similar like to this. Um, all you have to do is just click on these links here and it should hopefully one of them should work and take you to the article that you're looking for. Um, so that's how the full text finder works. I'm going to click on this one because this is the PDF version of whatever this article is. And so this one actually was a lot simpler because the PDF is stored in the database itself instead of somewhere else. So all you have to do is just click on the PDF full text link that I just clicked on and it takes you straight there. And from here, if you want, you can actually uh, print it out by clicking the print button here. If you've used Dragon Quest before to find sources, this will probably look similar. And then you can also click the download button if you want to download it and save it to your device. Um, so if you like to organize your sources somehow, you can do that. But that's how you access the PDF links. Now I'm going to show you the difference between um, this, these search results here where we used the full text checkbox and then I'm going to actually uncheck this and see what we get when we don't have that checked off. So what this did is it shows you pretty much everything that falls under the news category and, and some of the things are accessible online so we've got the full text finder and the PDF full text again. Looks like there's a couple print sources, print newspapers. Um, it says they're available, but it's a lot of times uh, other campuses that have newspapers, they don't typically lend those to students that are outside the campus. So you may not be able to request these. But I'm gonna keep going here and see what we have. Okay, so actually, this is one I wanted to find. So you can see that there's a bunch of these news sources that have full text finder links underneath, which is a good sign. But since we don't have the full text checkbox checked off, it's showing us everything that's available, even if it's not available in full text format. So uh, what it's going to show you with some of these results is it's going to show you some articles that maybe aren't available in the database, but you can request through the interlibrary loan program. And so this is an example of one of those. Uh, if, you've, if you've ever requested anything from interlibrary loan before, um, it's basically when you, you fill out a form to get a specific source for a set period of time. And we usually fill them through another institution that's not part of our immediate Ohio Link group. And so a lot of times these are filled electronically and not through print. So you'll get these via email instead. So if you ever find a newspaper article that you might be interested in uh, getting and it's only showing an interlibrary loan option instead of a PDF, full text, or a full text finder, that's, that's okay. You just have to click on this and it's going to take you to our interlibrary loan request form. And if you've done this before, this will look similar and look familiar. But all you need to do is put in your first and last name. 
and then you just have to put in your library barcode. Um, if you don't know what your barcode is, it is located either on the back of your student ID. Um, if you're a first year, it may not be on the back because I, I heard that they had some printing issues with that. But you can also get your library bar barcode by emailing us and we can email it to you. Or if you check self-service and log into self-service, you can find it that way. It should be under, I want to say it's under uh, course profile or my profile. And then the nine digit code that says system ID, that's your, bar your library barcode. So, so there's ways to get it if you don't know what it is. Um, and you want to make sure that you put in your Tiffin email address, not a personal one. You just put in your stu student status, and if you're able to pick up materials on campus, so if you're, if you're an online student and you don't live in Tiffin or don't live in the state of Ohio, I recommend that you put that you can't pick things up on campus. But if you are a campus student, you can choose either one. And then you just want to put the date you need the source by, because then that helps us determine if we're able to get the source for you. So then once you have that filled out, it's going to pre-fill the source information for you so you don't have to worry about any of that. And then once you're done, just hit submit and then it'll say that it was submitted and then uh, usually we'll contact you if, if an interlibrary loan request is, is sent out on your behalf. So that's what an interlibrary loan form looks like if you're requesting a newspaper. Uh, but it looks like a lot of these are available if you just use the full text finder links. So hopefully you won't have to do that a whole lot. Um, sometimes it takes a while for these interlibrary loans to get filled depending on how long the institution takes to turn around these it requests. So I always recommend trying to use the ones that you can access right away before trying to get something via interlibrary loan. But it is useful and it is a great program so um, it is there for you. But if you need something within like a day I don't recommend using um, interlibrary loan because it might take longer than that. So I'm going to scroll back at the top here. So that's pretty much how to locate newspapers through Dragon Quest. It's pretty simple. Um, you just type in your search terms and then go down to source type when you're looking at your search results. Check off news. And then if you want to see things that are more readily available, click the full text and you're pretty much all set. You can also use some of these other filters down here. Um, like if you want to find a newspaper article from a certain date, you can uh, use these, the drag bars to set a date range. So like if you want to find something from the past 20 years, you can type in a date range. So like from 2000 to 2021. And so that's going to take out any of the sources that are not from that date range. Um, but that's, you know, that was, you know, I tried to do kind of just a basic, like, how to find newspapers from any time period. So, so that's how you do that. Um, if that was just uh, doing a basic search in Dragon Quest when it comes to finding newspapers, you can also do an advanced search to find newspapers. And to do that, I just took a shortcut. But if, if you're on the library homepage and you want to do an advanced search, you can click advanced search here. And then you just type in your search term again. I'm going to do two terms, actually, because we're doing an advanced search. Um, so really, all you have to do is just type in your search terms and then do the exact same thing that you did with, an, with a basic search. You want to scroll down, check off news, and then check off the full text box if you want to see the full text items and then change the publication date if you want to change the date. So pretty much the same thing, just a little bit different. Um, so that's how to locate newspapers in Dragon Quest. I'm going to move on to showing you some of the newspapers that we can find in our database list. So I'm going to close out of here and go back to the library homepage. And so if you remember at the beginning, I showed you that there's a database icon here. If you click on that, so if, if you're following along on your device or something, you can definitely do that. Um, so what this does is it shows you all of our databases available. We have 193. But you, if you want to find the ones that just have newspapers in them, all you have to do is go to the database type dropdown and then just find the newspapers option. 
and that's going to show you all of our databases that have newspapers in them. So this will make it a lot easier instead of just searching Dragon Quest because it's going to show you sources that are specifically newspaper based. So I'm not going to show you and demonstrate all 15 of these uh, just for the sake of time just because it would take hours probably to show you everything but I'm going to highlight some of the big ones. Um, on the plus side though um, any of the databases that have uh, EBSCO underneath where it says all names and keywords that means that they have the same search functions as Dragon Quest and so you'll probably be able to use these pretty easily because they all look the same. So like I'm going to just open this one because this, this has EBSCO underneath. I wonder why it's having me do that. All right, let me check it off again. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, let's try that again. I wonder why it's having me check it twice. All right, well, let's scroll down because this was Academic Search Premier. Let's see, Academic Search Premier should be somewhere at the top. At least it should be. I wonder why it's having me do that. It usually doesn't do it like that. I'll try, actually I'll try the I'll try the second one maybe. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why it had me do it like that. But okay, this one is also an EBSCO database. So this is also going to have the same search features as Dragon Quest. And you can kind of see that it does look very similar. Actually, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do the same search. And you can see that everything looks the same. Um, it just tells you that you're searching the database that you selected instead of Dragon Quest. So that's the only difference. But you can still scroll down and find the, uh, looks like there's not a news option because most of these are news sources already. Um, so you, but you can kind of still narrow them down by source type if you like and narrow them down by date. Um, so I did want to show you that real quick just so you, you, you kind of see how they're very similar in, in terms of their search features, so you don't have to learn how to use a new database every time. So, so that's really nice. Uh, but with that being said, the databases I was going to demonstrate to find sources that are not part of the uh, EBSCO collection are Nexus Uni and NewsBank. So they should be both located under N because they start with the letter N. Because as you can see, we still have the newspapers option selected. So I'm going to go to Nexus Uni first. And so Nexus Uni is a news database that has more than 15,000 news, business, and legal sources. Um, that includes Supreme Court decisions and stuff like that. So this is what Nexus Uni looks like. So to find specifically news sources, you're going to want to use the guided search tab instead of just the, the search bar where you just type in a topic and hit search. You want to make sure you use the guided search option and you want to have uh, news selected underneath the what are you interested in question. And then what you want to do is then type in your keyword. And then it's going to ask you for a date range. I'm going to say past uh, past three months. But you can uh, put in your own date range if you like, but I'm just going to say for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to put three months. So then it's going to show you your search results. And a lot of this will look similar to Dragon Quest and other databases you may have used, but there's a uh, there, this version of a refine results tab, so it allows you to apply filters to make the search results smaller or bigger. But uh, what you can do to access sources from here is uh, same thing as Dragon Quest. You can click on the title for more information. And then if you want to access the source, um, sometimes you can hit preview to view a preview. I'm going to see if there's, I don't know if all of these are available in full text or not. Let me go back to, I'll go back to this first one. Did it, does it have everything? Oh, it looks like this is the source. Okay, perfect. Makes, it makes it a little easier. So this is the title, and then it looks like this is the body. So this is the main section of the article. And then there's just some database information underneath. Um, so that was actually pretty easy. Um, you didn't even have to much clicking just clicked on the title and there you go 
Um, so that's what you can do pretty much in using Nexus UNE to locate newspapers. Um, you can kind of scroll through these. You've, we've got a lot of pages here. Um, so if you want to make your results smaller, you can uh, use this search bar that allows you to search within your results. So I just searched for sports, which is a very generic topic. I'm going to put in uh, football to see if we can find news sources on, on just football. And so hopefully that made our results a little smaller. Looks like it did. So then uh, you can use that. That's really helpful. There is also a date range you can select again. So if, if you choose a date range when you first do a search and you want to change it, you can change that by using this. Although I think what I'm going to have to do is get rid of the first filter and then it'll let me hopefully change it. Oh, maybe not. So I wanted to get rid of that. I wonder why it's not getting rid of that. Huh. Can we type in our own? Oh, I guess it doesn't let you do that either. All right, well, I guess what you'd have to do if you want to change the date is just click the clear option, and that's going to clear all of the filters. Although it still keeps the date. That is very strange that it doesn't let you change. It lets you change, like, the day within the date range you chose, but nothing... You can't modify it. So, okay, that's a little weird. I should probably change that. <laughs> so, uh, so if you want to redo the date range, you're probably just going to have to backtrack. I'm just clicking the back button here. And uh, just go back to the home page and just do like a brand new search. So I'll just have news, sports, and then, um, and then I'll just, I'll select my own date range here. And then, and then there you go. I'm going to click on another one of these and see what we get. So does this one show up? Yep, this one showed up. So looks like underneath the word body, that usually is the actual article itself. And then that's the title at the top. If you are using any type of newspaper source from this database and you need the citation information, um, just click on the export citation option right here, and then it's going to give you a uh, preview of the citation, but you can select the format that you need. Uh, most of you probably use APA, because the most courses here use APA, so make sure you have APA selected, and then you can just copy it and paste it into your Google Docs or Microsoft Word or whatever you use to write papers or whatever you use for assignments. Um, so that's where you can find the citation information. You just click on the title, and there should be an export citation option right there. And this applies for pretty much all of them in here. Yep, so it's always going to be there. Um, I actually I forgot to mention, if you want to find the citation information for new, a newspaper article in Dragon Quest, there is a way to do that. Um, I'm going to... I'll just show you that real quick because I actually I forgot to show you where that is. So I'm going to go back to news here. And I'm just going to click on I'll just click on the first one. So if you want to find the citation information in Dragon Quest, just click on the title like I just did, and then hit Cite on the right side underneath Tools. And then it'll give you a bunch of different formats. You want to scroll down and find APA 7th edition. And it's already made for you, so then you just have to copy and paste it into your document. Now, you need to make sure that it is still properly created because sometimes these automatic citations aren't perfect, so you will want to make sure that they are correct, um, but it still saves you a ton of time. Instead of having to make the citation on your own, it's already made for you. Um, so that's how you can find citations in Dragon Quest. 
Uh, but that's how to use Nexus Uni, uh, just kind of a crash course. So the other database I want to show you how to get newspapers is NewsBank, which is a database that has just thousands and thousands of newspapers from the United States and worldwide. So I'm going to do a brief demonstration on how to do that. So there's a couple things you can do. Um, I recommend that you use the search bar to conduct a search. Um, you can browse topics down here, uh, but this is going to include everything and not, uh, not just newspapers. So I think you probably want to just use the search bar. So I'm going to use the same example. And so now we're going to get um, all of the results related to sports, which not a lot it looks like, uh, but it tells you some information on the results. So like, for example, the first couple results here, we've got something from October 1st, 2021, which must be something that's either coming out or came out just recently, but it's come, it's from the Atlantic newspaper and that's the author's name. So same thing with these two. And it looks like same with these as well. So then what you can do is you can click on preview to get a preview of the source. Or if you just click on the title, it should take you straight to it. And yep, yes it does. So you can see this is kind of a long one. Let's go all the way to the bottom here. So if you want to read that, <laughs> it's a long one. Uh, but it looks like you also have an audio option. So if you want someone to read it to you, you can play this and it'll read it to you if you have headphones in, if you prefer to listen to it that way, but um, that's pretty simple to access. And that's how most of these work. You just click on the title and the news articles right there. And to find the citation information, same thing goes with uh, NewsBank. You just have to find the cite option and that's going to be at the top right here. Now you're going to have a couple of options. You can get the citation just like in the other databases by clicking on APA. And so now it it just created the citation for you. You can copy and paste it. Or if you use some kind of software like Noodle Tools or Zotero or EasyBib to help you make your references pages for assignments, you can also have it exported to that program. So what it's going to do is if you click on that, it's going to open up Noodle Tools, then you have to log in and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, same thing with these uh, other programs as well. Um, so it's just up to you if you like using those types of programs, then I recommend doing that. But if you just want to get the citations from here, you can do that as well. And it's still a good idea to make sure that it is done correctly. So I would have some kind of APA style guide in front of you just to make sure that it is done correctly. I'm going to go back here for a second. There we go. Now, I didn't even use any of the filters that are on the left side here because um, I just wanted to show you how to access articles. But you can make your searches smaller in NewsBank. I don't really need to for this topic because there's only 20 results. But if you choose something a little bit, a little bit wider, Oh, you know what? Never mind. We don't have 20. We have 106 million. <laughs> Never mind. So actually, I'll go back here. I was just paying attention to the, the first 20. I thought that was all that we had. But yeah, no, we have 106 million, so we've got plenty. Okay. So uh, like any of the other databases that I've shown today, you can use the date range selector and, and select a date range if you want to find something really recent or really old. You can type in a date and it'll filter out anything that's not within that date range it, just like the other databases work. And then you can narrow it down by source type. So it looks like there's newspapers, newsletters, magazines. So these are all different types of, of news sources, just not all of them are necessarily newspapers. So if you want to just find newspapers, you would want to click on the newspaper source type.
And so now we've just got newspapers related to sports. And same thing goes, just click on here and it'll give you the article with the citation information if you need it. And so that's how to use NewsBank to get newspapers. Um, and then I didn't really use these, but you can also narrow things down by, by year or source name if you're looking for a specific newspaper. You can check by location and then you can also check by uh, language as well. So that's how to use NewsBank. So hopefully that gives you kind of an idea on how to use newspaper databases and how to find them in the library. Um, I know this is a lot of information to throw at you at once if you're new to using a lot of these resources and that's okay. We do have some things that can help you with using these resources. Um, so first of all, we do have a research guide on how to locate newspapers. So if you lose the link to this recording or if you just want to have it in front of you while you use some of these resources, you definitely can. Um, to find our newspapers research guide, you just want to go to the research guide tab here. And then you're going to want to find the one that's underneath, actually, would it be under using the library or would it be under, oh, yep. Okay, so you're going to want to go to using Pfeiffer Library Umbrella. And then you're going to want to click on the locating newspapers guide here. And so it gives you just a brief little guide on how to locate newspapers using uh, Dragon Quest with some screenshots. It has a list of some of our newspaper databases. And then also a little bit of material on how to use Nexus Uni, which was one of the databases I covered today. So that might look familiar. Just to kind of just gives you a brief overview on how to use it. And then if you want to get extra help on using NewsBank, which is the database I just showed you, uh, it was the third one, we actually have a separate tutorial for that. And to find that, you just go to the library homepage again, and you're gonna go to the help tab and then click on tutorials. And then you're gonna wanna scroll down to find the NewsBank tutorial. And so this is going to be this kind of the same format as the newspaper's research guide, but it's going to give you an overview on what NewsBank is, is it credible, the features that it has. Um, this is actually more in depth than what I was able to cover today. Um, so I highly recommend you check this out if you're going to be using NewsBank to locate newspapers. Um, there's even videos that walk you through how to do a basic search, how to do an advanced search using different features. Um, there's a map you can use to find things. Um, how to narrow a search by a date, um, and even how to create alerts, like search alerts, if you want to get alerts on, on different topics, how to find citations, uh, pretty much anything that NewsBank has, it, this guide has it. So I highly recommend you check this out if you are new to using NewsBank or, or even just finding newspapers in general. Um, so these are here, and they're always, you can access them on campus, off campus, doesn't matter where you are, um, they're available anytime. Um, and we make these really because we, we understand that not everyone can be in the physical library space. And we think that having these written tutorials accessible 24-7 is, is really helpful because you can get it any time. And it, I, I think it's a lot less intimidating than having to walk into the library and ask for help. So that's why we make these. And we think that they're, they're super helpful for anyone who might be new to doing research or doing research on a specific topic. So I hope that this session really helped you with knowing how to find newspapers and what kind of sources we have available to find newspapers. Um, like I said, there is Dragon Quest, of course, and then there's always the newspapers database list. And um, the ones I recommend. Hello again, James Gilmer, user services librarian here at the end of the webinar just to give you some resources for additional help should you have questions as you work on your research and other assignments. You can always email the library directly at library at tiffin.edu and Luann or I will typically get back to you that day during the 9 to 5 Monday through Friday workday or on our next business day for questions that fall outside of those hours. You can also contact me directly if you prefer at gilmerjm at tiffin.edu. 
I monitor both of those inboxes and get to questions as quickly as I can. For more generalized help, check out our other webinars, research guides, and tutorials that are linked in the description below and on the library's homepage, library.tiffin.edu. Thanks again for watching and good luck with your research.